Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to be looking at slots. There are five types, and so first let's talk about what a slot is real quick. You'll see that it's comprised of a couple parts. There is the left arc, the right arc, and the two tangent connecting lines between them. Additionally, you have the distance between the two centers of each arc, so that way you can dimensionalize this, make this whatever you want, so like 70. We can also change the radius of the arc, which will change the thickness of it. So this will, if we make this 15, it makes it thicker. Now that we know kind of the basics of what an, a slot is, we will start to draw the different types. So first we have our center to center slot. That's the type we just did right there. And basically what this defines is the distance between the two centers of the arcs. So you'll see where those little plus buttons are that, right there. That means that that's the center of the left arc and the center of the right arc. Now, what we do is after we select those two points, we can then move around and choose the actual thickness of it. Now this is defined by the radius of these arcs. And so there's not much more to that. We can dimensionalize this, we can dimensionalize that, but overall it's a pretty simple slot. The next type that we have is the overall slot. There's not much difference between this type and the previous type. However, there is one thing that you should understand, and it's that the overall arc takes the distance from the outside two edges. So let's say we drew this slot, and we made this slot 100 millimeters long. And we'll drag this out. Now we'll do the overall slot. And we will do the same thing. We'll start right here. Well, actually, we'll start right at the edge there. And we'll show that from this edge, if we go out 100 millimeters and we go down, you'll see that it's 100 millimeters from the outside to the outside. This one's 100 millimeters from the inside of the center of each of the arcs. So that's pretty much the difference. You just have to understand that this one, if you're given a value that you know the distance between the two centers of the arcs, this one will work. And if you know the overall size constraint that you have, then this one will be your, your friend. So next we have our center point slot. Now this one's kind of different where it basically takes the distance between this center point and this center point. And then you choose your thickness. So here to here. So you'll see a 70 millimeter one makes it very large because if we, we do this again, we'll say 100 millimeters for this one again. So just like the other two, we'll do 100, but that'll be multiplied by two. So when we bring this out, it makes it massive. So next we have our arc slots. We have a three point arc slot first. And what this does is it takes the distance from the center of the left arc, the center of the right arc, and then the arc that connects those two, and then you're going to create the thickness. And so you'll see here, this is your distance here. And now, finally, we have our final slot, which is the center point arc slot. What this one does is it gives you the radius of the arc in between the two. So let's say we wanted to make it 40, and we press Enter. Now it's going to ask for our degree. Now that means that we can make our slot all the way around, but basically we can do like, let's say 90 degrees. And then we choose our thickness, and there you have it. It's 90 degrees between the two points in between the arcs. So that is how you use all five types of arcs, and let's use it actually in a sketch real quick. So you'll see right here, we have an arc right in the middle, an arc slot that is. So let's start to draw this. So we will finish this sketch real quick and I'm just gonna delete it. We don't need that anymore. So first things first, we'll do 15 and 60 and 20. Let's do 15, ooh, tiny. Then we'll do 60. And then we will do a 40 out here. And then we will take an arc and connect those two. Here, here, here. D, we need 10, so we'll make that 10. 
and then we're just going to make these two tangent real quick. Next we have a big radius of 100 or diameter of 120 radius of 60 so 120 and I'm just gonna move it around just a little bit real quick and then I'm going to make it tangent as well. Tangent to here and tangent to here. Now finally we have that slot. That's our last thing. So let's trim this up real quick. Just make it a little bit more presentable so that we can see what we're doing. So the way this is drawn, you'll see that it is a 90 degree arc slot. So let's start from this point here where these two connect, this arc and this uh, circle here. This is where it's tangent, so we will draw a construction line directly up there through the center point of this outside radius here. And then we just need to draw something that's 90 degrees from that. Perfect. And so now what we're going to do is draw our slot. So we'll go to slot and we will choose center point arc slot. We know that the radius of which this slot is on is 40 millimeters. So we can go out here and type in 40. Press enter and then we'll type out 90 degrees. And so you'll see it goes perfectly to there. I'm just gonna turn off construction and press enter one more time. And you'll see it needs a thickness of 15. And just like that, we have our slot. It made it super simple to do this. We could have done this with several other circles, but we weren't really given a radius here or here, so we wouldn't have known what to do. So it would have been a lot more difficult to connect all three of these things. But with our slot tools, we can simply make one drawing and it connects perfectly just like that. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below what you'd like to see next, and we'll see you in the next video.